Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our last video of the day and we do happen to have another basketball box opening, but we're back to opening up some NBA product. We have the new 2020 Panini Contenders Draft Picks Basketball and impressively enough in this product you do get 6 autographs per box, 18 cards per pack, so there's some pretty big packs, and just 6 packs per box. Now we've seen some pretty cool cards come out of here, we've seen some low numbered stuff, we actually had a damaged, bo damaged box in store that my boss opened up because it wasn't sellable and was unfortunately so damaged it wasn't in sellable condition that actually did have an autograph numbered out of five in it as well so we've seen some pretty cool cards i don't believe the draft has happened yet so i know prices and player names are kind of up in the air right now but i'm excited to check out what we find some names i do recognize i recognize denny Avdija from this year's 2020 upper deck goodwin champions so another auto of his would be cool to find out of here Again, like I said, six autographs per box. Look for a prospect ticket premium edition autograph cards. I don't think we've seen those yet. And look for loads of hobby exclusive inserts and parallels. So I'm excited to get into this. This is for Jed B from New Jersey. So thank you so much, Jed, for letting me open the sun up for you. Not sure who you're hunting, but I hope I can find you some awesome cards. So without anything else, let's go on ahead and get on into it by snapping us into the corner. And let me let me use tiniest knife again. We have tiny knife. And then we have Tiniest Knife. This is the most recent knife acquisition of mine. Was gifted to me for my birthday. Um, it is quite quite sharp, but it does open up quite nicely. I found out I just need to go a bit slower when using it. I was having some difficulties during this past weekend's live stream with uh, poking myself with the tiny Tiniest Knife. Not to disgrace the name of Tiny Knife. Tiniest Knife. I know, I just, I mean, I named it Tiny Knife, this one, because I didn't think we could get smaller. But here we are, we have found something smaller. All right, here we go. Let me quit rambling about the knives. Let me go ahead and get into pack number one for Jed. Let's find something cool. And there are a bunch of photo variations as well that are denoted by the V on the back. It seems like about half the cards are variations. It's quite uh, weird in my opinion, but you know what? It's like collecting two whole sets in one. There's no, uh, there's no school name here. Interesting. We have our first campus ticket parallel. We have Jason Tatum. And, oh, that's cool. We have a conference ticket of Bubby Heald, number 64 out of 99. A little starburst there. That's cool. And for our first autograph, we have Jay Scrub. Prospect ticket autograph. All right, let me get those all sleeved up. Sleeve up our auto. Let's leave up our conference ticket. It is numbered. All right, then we have our inserts. We have school colors, campus legends, and the playing the numbers games. Jason Tatum and the legends. And all right, back to the prospect tickets. We have our campus tickets. We have Carl Anthony Towns and Devontae Graham. Our next auto, we have Romaro Gill. That is, oh, prospect tickets. Oh, it is actually ticket stub shape. That's cool. 24 out of 35. I almost didn't notice it at first, but it is shaped actually like a ticket stub. I actually like that a lot. That's cool. Romaro Gill. 24 out of 35. Going through our inserts, legends, numbers, and colors. I have noticed uh, that first pack only has the one points card. So it does seem like those are the other inserts are two per pack, whereas the points playing the numbers games are one per pack. Although I do feel like we've seen some boxes to have packs with more than just one playing the numbers game insert inside. Did have a John Morant there over the weekend. You all let me know that I should go ahead and sleeve those up. So I will do so here for Jed. Apparently Jaw and Zions, even though being second year collegiate cards are still pretty decent. So it's no problem for me to go ahead and sleeve those. We had something super shiny there. I don't know what that is, but we'll find out momentarily. John Morant. We have campus tickets, Donovan Mitchell, DeAndre Ayton, campus tickets. We have Josh Green, on card prospect tickets, autograph, silver prism optic there, that's cool. 
So I'm not sure if it's silver prism. It is kind of like the optic style card, so it might be a hollow prism. That is cool. On card Josh Green autograph. That's cool. We've had a ticket stub auto. We've had an autograph on card as well in one box. Very nice so far, in my opinion. See, here's a second point, uh, points. I would say points insert, but it is playing the numbers game. But that is LaMelo Ball, who is on the front of the box. One of the six people up there on the front. Get these sleeved up. Only halfway through this box. Al Horford and Victor Alapido. That is number 29 out of 49 tournament ticket for the Hoosiers. And we have Zeke Naji. Tournament ticket auto, 27 out of 49. There are so many numbered cards in this box. Jeez. Definitely not a bad thing, especially because you never quite know for sure where these people will get drafted or how they'll pan out. RJ Hampton. I mean, just look at uh, during the playoffs how much Bam Adebayo Prism rookies spiked up. You never know. You just never know. Oh, runaway Carmelo Anthony there, but let me straighten up these piles. They're looking a bit messy. And we'll get into our last two packs. We've had a ticket stub auto, we've had an on card auto, we've had an auto tournament tickets. Out of 49, out of 35, not numbered on those like prism cards, but they're still pretty cool. A couple of numbered tor uh, the uh, foils, tournament ticket and a conference ticket. Two jaw morants. I mean, I think this is pretty nice. Clay Thompson, campus tickets. Stephen Curry. We have Braxton Key, prospect tickets. Oh, we have, oh, that's cool, Tyler Bay, school colors foil, 10 of 10. This is just unlimited numbered cards in this box, you guys. This is, this is really cool. I'm used to, honestly, I'm used to basketball not giving us much leeway with the pulls. Just kind of being like, all right, we're looking for autos and hopefully we get a nice prism or something. But just, man, there's been a lot. I'm actually going to top load that school colors. 10 of 10. I'm, I'm just thoroughly impressed here with this box of Contenders Draft Picks. All right, last pack here for Jed. Come on, let's see something lower than 35. Let's see something lower than 35 on the auto. We already got that, that insert number 10. All right, we got Kyrie Irving, Lonzo Ball, and Freddie Gillespie from, I'm, I'm guessing that's uh, Baylor there. It's going to say Boston, but it looks, it says Baylor on his shirt. So it's from Baylor University. That is just a base prospect ticket autograph. I mean, we definitely did pretty nicely here for Jed either way. All righty. Oh, that's a John Morant answer too. I'll sleeve that one on up. All right, let's finish off this pack here. Sleeve up these cards, and then we'll get into our recap. Definitely a lot of nice things to be found here within this one box of Contenders Draft Picks. A crazy amount of numbered cards for it just being, like I said, one box. Not as crazy as that one Contenders Draft Picks football box that had three cracked ice autographs in it. If you missed that video, I'm actually just going to link it right up there. That was a while ago uh, with the old cameras and the old microphones. So, you know, don't, don't yell at me that the video quality is not the greatest. But So we haven't had anything as crazy as that three cracked ice autographs in one box. But like I said, that was Contenders Draft Picks football earlier in the year. But this still definitely very nice here. Let me actually just go ahead and put everything in like order. All right, so let's start off that gold, I'm assuming, School Colors Foil, Tyler Bay, 10 of 10 from the University of Colorado. We have the Prospect Ticket, Romaro Gill, 24 out of 35, little ticket stub shaped autograph. Tournament Ticket, 27 out of 49, Zeke Naji Auto. We have the Prospect Ticket, Silver Prism, Josh Green. 
on card, J Scrub prospect ticket, Braxton Key tickets, and Freddie Gillespie tickets. We also had two numbered foils. We had a tournament ticket, 29 out of 49, Victor Oladipo. Oladipo, not quite sure on that pronunciation. I feel like I've said Oladipo, and no one's corrected me, so we'll go with that. We have that little Starburst conference ticket. That is 64 out of 99. And then, of course, we got one of each of the John Morants, the Campus Legends, and the base and the photo variation in this box for Jed. So thank you so much, Jed, for letting me open this on up for you. I hope you're as excited about these polls as I am. Definitely very nice to see so many numbered cards in one box. Like I said, usually basketball doesn't give us too much to work with, but I am very impressed here with this box. So I hope you are very pleased as well. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. If you have any comments for me, did I mispronounce any of the new guys' names? Did I pronounce any veterans' names wrong? Let me know and I can get that fixed up. Uh, for whatever the next video of basketball that comes out. I always hate mispronouncing people's names. So if you have any pronunciations for me, I will definitely pay attention to those. Leave those down below. And if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us here. We're approaching, I mean, by the time this video is up, we might already be at 12,500. But we're approaching 12,500. Of course, up next will be 13,000. And always there's room for more growth. So don't hesitate to go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join us here. And that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching all these videos today. I hope you had a wonderful time. Don't forget, I will be back, of course, on Friday with some more videos. And I'll always... Always, 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 aside from any maybe holidays. But we do have our Halloween live stream coming up this weekend. Always Saturday night, 7.45 p.m. Eastern is when I do live breaks, so make sure to tune in then. But thank you for watching, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.